the city looks as if it were floating on the ocean. That is Dalian, China. It's a harbor town that was once ruled by Russia and later by Japan. Wow, look at those domed roofs. And those buildings appear to be Western. That's a very elegant looking Western style building. And over there are some really tall skyscrapers. Oh, look at that old fashioned style trolley. It looks so dignified. And that's a clock tower. The population of Dalian is about six million. I wonder what kind of city this is. I think I'll walk around and check it out. It's now 7 a.m. Let me just take a look at my map. Let's see. I'm right here in front of Dalian Station. The large, long building on the side must be the station. Dalian is written on the front. Look over there. Someone's waving a blue flag. I bet it's a tour group. Wow, the bag that woman is carrying is huge. I bet she's just come in from the provinces. Look at all the skyscrapers surrounding the station. I wonder what's on the other side. More skyscrapers. Dalian is a very metropolitan city. Ah, there's a bus stop behind the station. These people appear to be waiting for the bus, but no one is in line. There's a little girl walking with her mother. I wonder if her mom is taking her to school. I think I'll follow them. Huh? Everyone's walking in the middle of the street. I guess they have to because the cars are blocking the sidewalks. This sidewalk has traffic delineator posts, so cars can't park here. And here's the school. Look at all the kids having a great time in the schoolyard. They sure have lots of energy. Good morning. Look at all the kids talking with their parents through the fence. Good morning. Oh, pardon me. Ah, there's the gate. There's still lots of kids arriving. Oh, this time, Dad's on duty. Have a good day. Good morning. You brought your daughter to school? Yeah. Every day? Wow, why can't she come by herself? Ah, uh, so you're worried. Do you pick her up after school, too? I see. And where do you go after this? Oh, sorry if I kept you. Hmm, won't he be late for work if he lingers too long? Lots of other fathers here too. Ah, devoted family men. Everyone's walking so fast. I wonder if they're all going to work. What are those blue things hanging down? Oh, they're clothes. But there are so many of them. Oh, someone's inside. Good morning. May I ask about that blue cloth you're holding? Oh, I see. Are you a seamstress? 
洗衣服的。Oh, this is a laundry service. Do you charge for the mending? 对，就是免费给他们缝，就是小孩子嘛。Wow. 小孩子就不会缝，这东西缝完直接就他们就打。So most of them live alone? 放一放。Why are all the clothes blue? Ah, work uniforms. Ah, oh, a customer. He must work in a factory. Excuse me, are those your work clothes? You bring them here about once a week? That's quite often. I bet she mends his clothes too. Ah, he commutes by bicycle. Are you on your way to work? Good luck. Ah, the laundry lady is out on the street. I wonder where she's going. Look, a street food vendor. And lots of people in line. Is she going to pick up some breakfast? Wait, where is she going? She's drying some clothes. She seems to know what she's doing. But how can you tell whose clothes are whose? <laughs> Oh, forgive me. I should have known. It was great talking with you. Look at all the people lining up for food. Wow, this woman's really good. Good morning. Your stand is really popular. Are those crepes? Huh? What are rolled sandwiches? Oh, I see. Fry up the bread, break an egg over it, and then roll it up, eh? Ah, oh, this customer's waiting with her own bag. Good morning. You timed it just right. I see you bought two. I wonder if she works at the factory, too. Here I am out on the main street. Lots of cars. Well, which way should I go? That sign over there says T. Huh? There's someone sitting in the entrance, all wrapped up in some kind of cloth. Hey, is that a barber? Uh, excuse me. Good morning. Looks like she's just finishing up. Have you been a street barber a long time? That long? So this isn't your main line of work. Self-taught, huh? I see. Do you live around here? Okay. I wonder where she's going to take me. Huh? Which ones? Uh, 
三个超市我的，<笑>我今年都六十三岁了，就在这房子出生的。三间房子，我父亲、我、我儿子都在这住过。So your parents， 就是说，就是这个地方没告诉你房子空出来了吗？没有地方啊，就是说这个地方是随便住的时候。After the Japanese left, we just listen. Thank you. Okay, I'm going. Goodbye. See you. Look at all the fancy buildings on this street. They have a Western feel. Good morning. Another wide street. According to my guidebook, this is the Russian-looking part of the city. The Russian Empire started building here in Dalian at the end of the 19th century. Recently, the area has become quite a tourist attraction. Good morning. Ah, this building definitely has a Western air about it, and stained glass. This one seems Western too. Hey, what's that big red figure on the right? Ah, it's a Russian nesting doll. It's huge. Those kids are so full of energy. This looks like a souvenir shop. What are those colorful things? Ah, more nesting dolls. Necklaces here. So many things. What about here? Oh, he looked up. Good morning. You have a lot of merchandise. Unique handicrafts? I'd love to see them. For toothpicks? So imperial art is now a souvenir. Are there any authentic Russian buildings on this street? Oh, which one? When was it built? That building looks so great. My guidebook tells me that after the Russo-Japanese War, it was a hotel, and the famous Japanese author Natsume Soseki stayed there. <laughs> I can just imagine the Russian people bringing life to this square back in the old days. Hello, I'm Wu Xiao. I work in Dalian, and I work in an architectural firm. I'd like to share some of Dalian's history with you through its architecture. Our first stop is... Let's see... Chinua. About 120 years ago, this was a small village where one could find blue mud, a material used for building. It was first discovered by the Russians back in the 19th century. At the time, they were building the Trans-Siberian Railway and wanted access to the Liaodong Peninsula. They built a branch line called the Chinese Eastern Railway and established a city devoted to commerce. A large plaza was created in the center with roads radiating outward from it. Even today, Dalian is known as the city of plazas and it is said that there are more than 80 of them there. That's how Dalian got its start. Its original name was Dalini, which means remote in Russian. The capital of Russia at that time was St. Petersburg, which was located more than 6,000 kilometers away. 
During the Russo-Japanese War of 1904, the Japanese occupied Dalian. They continued the construction work which had been begun by the Russians. The city's name was changed to Dalian, and many of the buildings constructed under Japanese rule are still in use today. One example is Dalian Station. It looks just like Ueno Station in Tokyo, which was built five years earlier. Both buildings use straight lines to evoke a modern feel. One interesting feature is that two floors are used, one for departures and the other for arrivals. This was a revolutionary design at the time and illustrates the passionate interest that the Japanese Please visit us and experience the dignified atmosphere of our city for yourself. Bye! It's 11 a.m. This is the Bank of China. Look at the lions guarding the entrance. I think I'll head over to the square on the right. Lots of cars, but no traffic lights. How am I supposed to get across? I think I'll follow this woman. Whoa, watch out. It seems the cars don't stop for pedestrians. Where's my map? I came north from the station, saw the cleaners, visited the barber's apartment, and now I've entered Zhongshan Square. This garden is beautifully maintained. It's so spacious. I feel free. And it's surrounded by impressive looking buildings. sure are a lot of pigeons. That's pretty normal for a city square, I guess. Oh, a pigeon landed on her shoulder. They seem really tame. Hello. Look at that. The pigeon landed on her arm. Another one. Amazing. That's so great. Poor guy, not a single one landed on him. Hello? Uh, 你好, 你好. What are you selling? Pigeon food, huh? 对. Under Japanese rule, Zhongshan Square was the bustling center of Dalian, but now it's a very quiet area. The center of the city must be over there where those modern skyscrapers are. I'm going to head that way. Wow, these buildings look really tall, even from up close. And they look new. I wonder what companies are located here. Hmm, now she looks like a career woman who works here. It seems like this building is the center of the Dalian Financial District. Hello, I am Yang Fang, 
and I am a tour guide here in the city. I'd like to introduce you to some seafood cuisine that is unique to Dalian. I doubt that you will be able to find these delicacies anywhere else, so come with me. This is our first stop. This well-known restaurant's been in business since 1932. This is my third place choice, seafood menzi. Have you ever heard of menzi? These gray cubes are menzi and are a favorite food in Dalian and Shandong province. Menzi is a kind of jelly made from sweet potato starch. The potatoes are torn into bite-sized pieces and fried in oil. Menza can be eaten as is with a little sesame sauce, but folks in Dalian like to add boiled seafood. Mmm, so good! The soft jelly and crunchy seafood make a delicious combination. I will introduce you to the gourmet treat they serve here. My choice for second place Salted fish and corn dumpling. Originally a working lunch for fishermen, it's a Dalian special treat. It's easy to make, just deep fry salted flounder. Then slice up a dumpling made of corn flour and fry the slices until they're nice and crisp. First, eat the fish, and then eat a dumpling slice. Mmm, delicious! Each has a simple flavor that perfectly complements the other. And now it's time for first place. Ta-da! Seafood gruel. It is very popular in Dalian right now. The first step is to choose your seafood when you come in. It all looks so delicious. A special gruel pot is used to make this dish. Just put rice in the bottom. No water is needed. The seafood is placed on top, then covered and steamed. Set the timer and the steam comes in from the bottom. The first shellfish are ready. Everything tastes so fresh. Each type of seafood is steamed separately. This variety of fresh seafood is something you will only find served in Dalian. And the final treat is the rice gruel. All the savory juices from the steamed seafood give it a delicious flavor. Mmm. Fantastic! Truly a full course meal of seafood. It's so good and so healthy. Be sure and try it when you visit Dalian. Goodbye now! Take care. It's two in the afternoon. Let's see, where's my map? I met the pigeon man in Zhongshan Square, walked past the skyscrapers, and now I'm on the east side of town. That red sign says clothes repair in Chinese. Is that a tailor? The shop next to it also says clothes. This neighborhood seems to be related to apparel. There's the Chinese character for leather. And another sign that says clothes. And one that says great world of trade. I wonder what they deal in. I think I'll take a look. Excuse me. Whoa, this store goes on for a long way. And there are a lot of small shops. It must be a marketplace. There's a mannequin. And those are rolls of cloth. Ah, uh, hello. Look at all the different kinds of cloth. That woman's outfit is amazing. I think I'll ask her about it. Sorry to bother you. You seem to be about to buy something. 
Is this what you bought? Wow, you bought a lot. Made to order? How wonderful. There's so many stores selling fabrics. Are there enough customers to buy all the fabrics? So Dalian's on the cutting edge, huh? Are the clothes order made? Right now? Where? Would you mind showing me? They are all walking so fast. I guess the idea of making new clothes is very exciting. She must be a dressmaker. So customers choose their fabric, and she makes the clothes for them right away. What kind of dress are you going to make? Yes, it's beautiful. So people in Dalian like to wear order-made clothes. So chic. They'd rather look good than have a full stomach? <laughs> you have a proverb about it? Oh. Thank you. This looks like a quiet street. This corner building with its second floor terrace looks very modern. Ah, it says coffee and bar. It must be a cafe. What area of town is this? My guidebook says that Western-style houses were built here under Japanese rule. It was an affluent residential neighborhood where many Japanese lived. That's an interesting looking statue. This is such an elegant street. They all seem to be large single family homes. looks like an apartment building. I'm going to ask that woman. Hello. Hi, nice weather, isn't it? Are you watering your flowers? Oh, a family garden. What are you growing? Wow, you have an amazing garden. Goodbye. 
Oh, it's a fabulous staircase. There's someone else. I wonder if he lives here too. Hello? Pardon me. Do you live here? The building appears to be very well built. What floor do you live on? Fifty years? I suppose it looks very nice inside. You don't mind? I know it's rather sudden. Pardon me. I just love the stairs. It seems a bit old fashioned inside. Just as it was, huh? Pardon me. Look at all the doors. And the ceilings are really high. I see. May I see inside a room? Oh, you have guests. Excuse me for barging in. Are these your friends? <laughs> Corrupt element? I find that hard to believe. <laughs> you take good care of this place, don't you? What? Wouldn't that be nice? Living with your memories, huh? Thank you so much for sharing your home and your story with me. It's great to see older houses still being loved. Houses can't speak, but they've shared so much with many people over the years. A little side trip. I think I'll go to a tourist hotspot not far from Dalian. They say there's a beautiful scenic gorge there. Excuse me, which bus goes to Bingugo? A shuttle bus. Which one is it? <laughs> Here it is. I guess these passengers are going to see the gorge, too. It's about a three-hour ride northeast of Dalian. Could you tell me, ma'am, what Bingyugo is like? I suppose it must be very refreshing. <laughs> Sounds wonderful. We're two and a half hours out of Dalian, and the road's starting to get hilly. I see several signs. Ah, we've stopped. 
Is this where we get off? Where should I go? Ah, I'll ask that woman. Excuse me, where should I go? Thank you. buckets too. What are you going to do with the buckets? Really? You're going fishing? Have you been here before? Your first time, huh? Well, I hope you catch some big ones. <laughs> the woman on the bus said the mountains and rivers are beautiful. I guess that means lots of fish too. Once I pass through the gate, it's a different world. Rugged rocks soar straight up. Looks like we'll be taking a boat ride. <laughs> Everyone's taking pictures. Ah, look at those tall rocks, fascinating. They look like lovers in an embrace. <laughs> We've arrived. Which way should I go? <laughs> I guess I'd better go with the others. What are people taking pictures of this time? Oh, the same pair of rocks. <laughs> what? Praying to rocks for children? Oh, she isn't kidding. She actually is praying to the rocks. Come on now, Dad. And he is praying seriously also. Oh. <laughs> if I might ask. Uh, oh. I hope that your prayers are answered. Oh, <laughs> Take care. If those two rocks are a couple, I suppose the shorter one on the left must be the wife. She does look a little round in the middle. I've come deeper into the gorge. I see autumn reds and yellows just starting to turn. Beautiful. The path is built right over the lake. Wow. Looking up, these rocks have such a powerful presence. <laughs> this bridge is a bit shaky. Makes me nervous. Huh. There is a rope suspended above the lake. And people are hanging from it and sliding across above the water. <laughs> that looks like fun. Wait, was that a crash? I hope they're all right. Mm, maybe I should... I guess this is where I can get on. This is the entrance. Looks a bit scary, but what the hey? Hello? Come here. Is this ride dangerous? I can you find you. Well, that sounds pretty safe. 
No one ever gets stuck halfway across. Meal. Okay, I'll try it then. Let's see. I put this on and hang on to this wheel. This looks a little small. Are you sure it's all right? Hey, where's the brake? Hey. What? How am I going to stop? Wait, wait, whoa, 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 I'm moving. Oh, oh, nice view. I'd like to enjoy it a bit more, but I'm going way too fast. I can't stop. Oh, my God, there's a wall. Please, somebody help me. Somebody stop me. Help, help, help. Oh, no. Oh. now, just a little longer enjoying this scenery, and I should be completely refreshed, body and soul. It's four in the afternoon. The sign says Dalian Zhongshan Park, then something I can't read, then mark it. There's a woman going in. Is that a beauty parlor on the left? I think I'll check it out. I hear dogs barking. My goodness, this market goes way back too. Look at the puppies. Must be a pet store with cats next door. And on the right, pet products. These are all pet shops. It's a huge market. So the beauty parlors here are for pets too. These pooches are here for haircuts. They're standing so still. What good dogs. That must be an owner waiting. Hello. Did you bring your pet here? Which one's yours? Where? Ah, there he is. He's getting blow dried and brushed. He's pulling away. Oh, so he doesn't like it? Is that right? How do you know? Do you come here often? It does? Thank you. And goodbye to you too, doggy. You look great. Everything here is related to pets. 
I'm amazed by the size of this place. Everyone seems so energetic. It's five o'clock. The sun's going down. to slow down and relax. There's the ocean. Everyone's enjoying the evening in their own way. There's a cute little girl with her mother. Oh, they're flying a kite. It's so high in the sky. Hello. Your daughter is quite a cutie. Do you come here often? Oh, your first time? It's so nice here with the water and all, isn't it? Where do you live? Your husband's Dutch? Now that you're living abroad, what do you think about Dalian? I see. Would you like to move back here when you get old? Who did you come with today? Hello, sir. Oh, I see he's a bit shy. Thank you. Please enjoy your vacation with your daughter. Bye. Interesting that she says she would like to move back here someday. Even though her life is in Europe, her heart is still here. Russian and Japanese influences can still be found here. But delightful Dalian also seems to be at the heart of a new China. <laughs>